supervisor. So we started with him. We took him. We kidnapped him. It was uh, Miguel and what four of us, I think. Um, and we we found out some info off him. He couldn't give us much, but he gave us a name of somebody that had access to his car up until about four days prior to the kidnapping, and that was Chunker Robinson. So Chunker we, what? At the, Chunker Robinson. What a name. So he works at Hayes. Uh, I have sold him a car in the past. Um. At the time, we were still convinced Arthur was holding, was withholding information. But uh, we we went on to this chunker guy. We kidnapped the chunker guy. Uh, his phone was relatively clean, but from his phone, we got a few more names, a few more numbers, and he gave us the names of all the people, you know, that he rolls with. They they jokingly called themselves the Hayes Gang. Um, the names he gave us were. Obviously himself, Louis Blanc, uh, Rowy Smith, or Rowan Smith, um, and then a guy named Frog. What? Yeah, Frog. So the guy that's goes not by as Frog. Govy, right? That's no, like, no, no, that's not as Govy. Yeah. So he, say, he goes, he he goes by Frog, and we were like, okay, well, what's his name? And he's like, oh, I don't know his name. He just he just goes by Frog. But apparently they've known him known each other two months, and they do meth runs, weed runs. They wanted to buy a warehouse together. They work together at Hayes. All this shit, right? So we knew he was talking shit. Um, we got Frog's number off his phone and then searched his con uh, searched his text messages. And um, we found his text with Frog. And the very first uh, text from Frog was a screenshot of Frog himself tweeting with the name of Frog in the tweet. So we knew for a fact he was talking shit. Um, but what are you saying? It was, but it was the a tweet was irrelevant. Tweet. It, but it, we have his, his name is now. his his govy is J Wong. Um, so we got Smalls from Seaside to, to come out and have a chat with us. It was me and Denzel and him, and he he basically said, "Oh, Chunker definitely knows his name. He's talking shit. They've they've been around each other every day for the past two months. I don't know why he'd lie about that." So Smalls, who's like a day one of all these boys. So all these these do a lot of math. Smalls is seaside, right? Smalls is seaside, right? You, these boys you. do meth runs and shit, and they need somebody to do the meth run for them because they're not in a in a gang. So Smalls is that guy. So he's very close with all of them, and he basically landed a chunker and shit. So at that point, we made the decision to not shoot him in the face because we reckon it would get us nowhere, even though we knew he was lying through his teeth. So we went up to him. We were like, "Yeah." Uh, fuck, sorry about this, bro. We got the wrong guy and we just uncuffed him and left him. He was confused. Like, Gave him a shit, but he was, yeah, he was baffled. Then Miguel woke up about six hours later and we informed him of that. And Miguel decided to pick him up again, Chunker, from a race. So when Miguel picked him up six, seven hours later and went through his phone, he found texts between Chunker and John. Now, I don't have all the texts, but he sent me As one. As in Seaside, key. John. Seaside John, yeah. Yeah. He Joyce. sent me one of the texts. And it's John texting Chunker saying, You bitch made, cut this short. I'm tired and don't want to be in this bush any longer, or I'm just going to pop out and blow up this whole operation. Arthur dog walked you. So the gist of it was Arthur and Chunker went and had a chat on a mountain after this, after Chunker got picked up by us, because uh, he realized Arthur like name dropped him and shit. And John oh, was in the bush yeah. for this whole conversation. So John was like heavily involved. So those texts basically confirmed to us that Seaside had involvement in all this. Um, mm, invo do you think it's involvement in the sense of like knowledge of it or actual like. That's what we're not 100% sure of. Um, so later that night, after I went to sleep, John. Well, first of all, we oh, sorry, we picked up Louis next. Me, Miguel, and Future. Louis is okay, a hangaround okay. for Seaside. Okay. Louis Blanc. We picked him up. John wasn't happy. Uh, at the time, John didn't know Mandem were involved in the kidnapping. He thought it was just Future and Miguel. Um, so I, I ran into John like shortly afterwards and I played it off and acted like I had no fucking clue. Of course, John later found out off Louis that I was there because we didn't shoot him or anything. We gave him a shit back. Uh, from that kidnapping, we didn't get much. We just got an extra name, which was Poe, uh, Poe, Poe Dempsey. Oh. 
Paul Dempsey. Be we believe he is GG. But the the his he was name dropped a few times in different conversations between all these Hayes gang people, and he is Louis Blanc's brother. Uh, beyond sure. that, I don't think there's any more links. But each time we've kidnapped people, we've just you know been looking into each person we see involved in the text messages. Did you mention why we went into the frog guy? Like looked into him. So the oh, yeah. original crunk chunker guy was like. He was pretty open to give information about every name but from the frog guy he wouldn't he was denying knowing his gubby but then we found out very quickly he knew yeah, his yeah, gubby and we knew yeah, he knew the yeah, guy well have you mentioned the warehouse stuff mm -hmm. all speculation have you have you know, been zoned out this trying? whole thing yes okay like, do we do we know that do we know that they're actually trying i'll get, to, I'll, get there, I'll get there i'll get there i'll get there so we had louis got nowhere uh john then found out obviously i was involved and he started texting me a load of waffle saying Thought we had a good enough relationship where you could approach me, but if this is how you want to approach things, then say less. Why are you rolling up into our shit, strong-arming people? No respect. If I just grab, started grabbing Manda members up all over the city, you would have a certain feeling. Uh, That's what John said called, to you. Yeah, and then he called me okay. um, and started waffling about you know respect, and he thought the bridge was being built and all this shit, right? That's Mario, no? Yeah, we need, yeah, to, we need to get the camera things in it. I mean, to call him quick. I know yeah, wait, till after, wait till after this. Wait till after this. We'll do this and then we'll do it as a group. Just text him and say, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. give us five or some shit. Um, where was I? Fuck. Where the fuck was I? Somebody, somebody help. Uh, you said about a strong arm in. Oh yeah, he, he called me. Shit. Yeah, and he was like, oh, I thought Mandem and Seaside were, you know, on a path to rebuild the bridge that was broken and all this shit. He started waffling, right? Um, I basically said to him, look, we didn't take Louis because he's a Seaside hangaround. He can look into it how he's want, but he was name dropped multiple times by all these people. Whether he's a part of that group anymore, he was at one point. That's why he was picked up for, for like, to be questioned. <laughs> He's we didn't do anything, bed, so I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, quick call find him, all of this. Call it. Yeah, yeah, you know all of this, yeah. Um, and he was still waffling, and then he apparently met up with Miguel after I went to sleep, and he admitted to Miguel that the John. frog. Where did Matt go? Yeah. He admitted to Miguel that the frog and chunker guy uh, approached Seaside to take our lab, and oh. apparently Seaside told him nope not happening don't do that shit it's not gonna end well essentially um so that was that miguel called john out for bullshitting me over the phone for talking about respect and rebuilding the bridges yet oh, they chat, had info on their lap trying to be taken and they didn't tell us they told it to miguel because they obviously fear hydra more than us mm -hmm. um so then we met up with Seaside yesterday. Uh, originally, we met up with KJ. It was me, James, and Denzel. Uh, I don't think Denzel is overly happy after this meeting. I'll be honest. Just giving people a warning. Um, because in that meeting with KJ, me and James were being very, very skeptical, not really giving him much info, trying to let KJ speak rather than us speak. And we were kind of subtly pressing him without being too, like, big dick, right? Because at this point, we knew they were lying. Um... Denzel essentially started to give them a lot of the information we knew. Uh, and Miguel was listening in this conversation. And then when the, when the meeting ended, Miguel basically tore into Denzel and ended up walking off the block saying he's going to shoot him. He's, he's going to leave before he shoots Denzel. And that's when you um, guys shot him, right? No. So he's just going to let Miguel talk to Denzel like that? Do you want to shoot Miguel? Yeah. Ca carry on. If he talks to Denzel, let's, 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 let's just pause. Moses. Just carry on, carry on the story. We, we, we can keep moving for now. There's nothing um, going to this for now. So what, shit, we, what we wanted KJ to <laughs> KJ was playing dumb, but we kind of knew he was already lying. So he approached the meeting like, uh, oh yeah, this, I heard about something about to do with, you know, one of my boys spoke to Miguel, blah, 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 blah. What are you fucking celebrating about? We've got some good news. Go on. So he's gone through the logs who's buying cameras the most over the past two days. It's Hardcastle and Jay Wong. So, <laughs> Jay Wong Wait, so, he's, so he's actively he's about. Frog. He's actively about and buying cameras in the past two days. Then, okay, here's what we're doing. When tsunami hits, we are mm -hmm. bush camping the lab. 
And if someone pulls up to put down cameras, we're fucking picking him up. Okay? Remember Hardcast as well. He's a cop, so just keep okay, that in mind. When's the last the time... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. When's the last time you that he bought camps? I don't know. So he, he said the last two days or, or two something. And then um, yeah, I also asked if Miguel could get access. So Miguel will be able to literally look through the logs. Uh, you last. said two no, days, right? It was either two days or two weeks. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I was more excited he said Jay Wong, to be honest. Can you can you like call him back and get that info real quick? Yeah. He's going to sleep. I think he's gone bad. Probably already gone bad. Yeah, but I'm in. Because that's kind of key. Because we the thing is with the with the going there to catch him. Realistically, if we've been picking man up left, right, and center and questioning him. I wouldn't be surprised if the fact he ain't bought cameras for two days is because it's been two days since we started poking around and now they know mm -hmm. we're onto him. Either way, we'll, we'll find out later. What, as soon as Miguel's about, hit hit let us know. I still think that tsunami we should head yeah, up. Yeah, we to can bushes. go. I mean, yeah, we may as well, wouldn't it? Just to see. But Take some. Just I wouldn't be, be ready surprised on some if bikes and head up. Killed his operation off for the time being. Mm hmm. Um, uh, Moses is two because two days is just a weird time period, to be honest. So. But yeah. yeah, but that, that changes a lot, to be fair, if it's two weeks or two days. so mm, Two days yeah. makes it line up with us finding out. Mm. And two weeks, then it has no correlation. So, yeah. Uh, ba yeah, basically, he was... It was evident from the start KJ was lying to us. And, you know, initially he was like, oh, you know, I heard one of my boys met with... Miguel last night and they talked about some shit. You know, he's been very vague, right? And then as the meeting progressed, we got more and more out of him that it ba basically in their newsletter, John had put everything there. So mm -hmm. he came there lying to us. Um, and we were, we were going to let, you know, we told him enough to then go back and find out what the fuck was going on. Uh, then they came back to us a couple hours later. Um, and we had a meeting. It was me. Who was there, Matt? Me, you, Miguel. Jay was... and... Uh, no, James and Denzel. James wasn't there. So Denzel, yeah. Which means We met with... The, the one at the fucking Sambas, you know. James wasn't okay, at that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was Denzel. And it was it was John, Smalls, KJ, and Michael Simone. Um... They pulled up, and as soon as they seen Miguel there, they were on smoke, to be honest. Uh, started making passive-aggressive, sarcastic comments about man them having new recruits and shit when they saw Miguel. Uh, you know Miguel, he told them to shut the fuck up, basically. And I'll be honest, if it wasn't for Michael Simone, I don't think that meeting would have happened. He was the only one to, like, from their side to cut the bullshit and get the meeting started. They started the meeting with, you can choose whether to believe this or not, which was a big red flag already. Not a great start. Uh, apparently Smalls has known about them trying to take our lab for three months. Well, what is with people in the city? Three months. Yeah. And apparently only Smalls and Seaside knew, nobody else. Context, apparently this Smalls guy is like A1 with this I've, chunk of yeah, guy. I've said that, I've said that. Mm. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Wait, so you know you said about how they offered it, like they offered the chance to steal the lab to mm -hmm. Seaside. Was yeah. this when he first found out or is three that months recently? Ago. Three months so they ago. offered him the chance three months ago yeah but so apparently he... they approached smalls three months ago literally saying we know where mandem's lab is and you know we want help they got that we... louis guy to back off as well didn't they yeah. were we yeah. talking yeah. three months ago no yeah quick question when did we hydra what? probably was though, hydra, right? yeah i was gonna say if we weren't hydra, yeah, but they we're... approached saying it was mandem's lab so i don't know it was the information probably came from John because he knew exactly where our old yeah. lab was. And so he was another... Ballers when Ballers had, had access. A little bit more context as well. So um, they, there's this guy called Louis that's like in this Hayes gang that chose with them heavy, but was kind of getting brought into Seaside and they told him to separate from that group because I think they knew what they were getting into with like the whole lab stuff. So just keep that in mind. Seaside definitely knew. Mm-hmm. So they came with the story that it was only Smalls. The rest of the money found out yesterday, slash the day before yesterday. Um, uh, we caught them out with a lie. Smalls said, you know, oh, he only came to me. He didn't ask for Seaside as a whole. John said, you know, it was approached to Seaside. 
and they had a bit of a awkward silence when they conflicted each other in the meeting. John was like, "God, oh, that's what I was fucking told," and Smalls was like, "No, no, no, it was ju- it was just me." So, interesting. I swear, John was involved in some meth lab shit with us previously. No, like well, way back. Ballers he was yeah, ballers ballers. when you shared it with Ballers. Yeah, he knows the area. He's like one of the only people that like we know one thousand percent actually not. Mm-hmm. And he yeah, would have told Seaside. Also, just while it's on my mind, so I don't forget, you should ask Mario when he's next awake to check back to how long that guy or frog, whatever his govy is, has been buying cameras to see it. Because if he can check, locks. he can see oh. if he's been buying cameras like three months ago. Like you'll be, you'll be able to monitor like how long he's been doing it by looking at his purchases. Yeah. It's it, even either way, us knowing he buys them from that store will give us logs for whatever we need. Mm-hmm. And now Miguel yeah. has access as soon as he's about. We'll, like, we're gonna know a lot. Probably should have asked him for access for us too. One of us. Yeah, I didn't want to over push it. You know what I mean? It's still his business at the end of the day. He's helping us massively by getting Miguel on board. So. Yeah. Uh, but that was that. The meeting basically ended. They told us they're not going to protect Chunker and Frog. Uh, Chunker and Frog. Um, Miguel told them if they're at Hayes, they're getting picked up at Hayes and that, like, just so they know. And they're like, they weren't happy with that, but, you know, I they're branded as Hayes gang. So, I mean, they're the more meeting, likely going to be found at Hayes. The meeting ended in, like, a passive-aggressive way. Like, mm-hmm. I think one of Seaside said something like, good luck finding them. And then Miguel said, like, good luck hiding them, you know? And then uh, Simone had like a back and forth as they like, as Seaside walked off. Yeah. And I think I they lied to they us have... for the longest, yeah. but I actually believe them about the, I believe them about the whole, they got offered it and denied it. Yeah. I mean, they probably did I deny it. I believe that. But the fact is, I'm, they I, lied to us I refuse to believe, though. I refuse to believe Smalls turned down that opportunity without bringing it to at least another member of Seaside. Question, oh yeah, it would yeah. have been discussed for if, sure. If, if someone brought that to me, for example, I would 100% have a meeting with whoever's around and see what people thought before I gave an answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they because... would have made a group decision to not yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. Question though, that that text John sent, whichever mm-hmm. one, being like, clean up the operation or I'm exposing it. Yeah. What's like, what was the point the, of that if they're not involved? The context of that was Chunker... <clears throat> was having a meeting with Arthur and mm-hmm. John was for some reason uh in a bush listening to it texting Ar- uh Chunker. Mm. So Arthur is involved as well. Arthur's so- not involved. So we picked him up again last night and I, I we're 99% sure he's innocent. The involvement of Arthur was and I believe him at this point and so I think I think everyone believes him now because after last night mm. yeah. The way okay, for I I I skipped a pretty important detail when we first picked up this Arthur guy. He's a proper sieve, right? And he loves his dog. So Miguel, <laughs> to, to make sure this guy wasn't lying, Miguel got him to take a gun and point it at Miguel's dog and he took a picture of it. Right? And you think, oh, fuck, that's good. That's good blackmail. So he'd lose his dog with that, right? No. Miguel shot his own fucking dog and then made him take a picture of a crouch beside it. So then it looks like this Arthur guy killed Miguel's dog. So if the Arthur guy was lying at all, Miguel would just get his dog taken by Polito Pets. And, and 14 so, years. Damn. And 14 yeah. years for killing a dog. Yeah. So, well, um, what breed was it? Poodle. A it was poodle. a poodle. A girl has a poodle? Not yeah, anymore. Had, had a poodle. Yeah. yeah. Had, a poodle. had a poodle. His name was Poo, yeah. Rest in peace, damn. Poo. Rest up, Poo. Um, Rest in peace, idea. pull one out for the fallen soldier. So, we picked him up again last night to the, you know, because after all the shit and all the meetings and people threatening to kill him and stuff, we reckoned, you know, it's a good time to make him switch. Right? Make him flip. If he had anything to tell us, he'd tell us. So we drove him up to Polito, and the whole way up, Miguel was, like, saying he was he spoke to Tessa, and Tessa said it's a 14-year sentence if he can prove someone killed a dog. Um, And then he was going up to Polito Pets to meet with... What's the Polito Pets owner called? Mm, Babas? Babas or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Babushka? That, something like that. Um, so as we were pulling up to Pilito Pets, he basically gave him a, gave him an out to come clean with everything, and we brought him to the pier. And he he didn't tell us any more details, couldn't tell us any more details, but he tried like setting up uh, 
Chunker and, and Frog, but they weren't awake to, to pick up his calls. So mm. we're pretty much almost 100% certain he's actually innocent. The reason why he was pulled into it is because he needed keys to a house because he was trying to get a cat from Polito Pets. He didn't own a house at the time, so he got keys to Chunker's house. So his car was parked in Chunker's house, which is the R35 we saw at the lab originally. And that's pretty much his only involvement. Gotcha. So his car was just being used by someone They were else. using someone else's car and it happened yeah. to be this guy's. And mm. it just so happened that we we got enough out of him by getting Chunker's name and stuff to find out all this shit. Like, okay, I wouldn't rule it out completely that he has some involvement, but I can't lie after all the emotional shit he's gone through and he hasn't changed his story once. I, I do think he's actually innocent. I mean, and we got enough evidence elsewhere pointing at yeah. bigger people to worry about than him, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. so we we need to get Frog, basically. We've had Chunker. We wouldn't mind getting Chunker again now that we've had it confirmed to us that it's him and Frog. And we can actually just fucking, you know, Saint, you got a knife on you by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, let's say less. Uh, the frog the guys will be a bit Seaside more hard. are 100% going to communicate to the people we're looking for now that we're looking for them, if they didn't already yeah. know. So they're going to be hiding tenfold, aren't they? Mm -hmm. 